Hey guys, it's Alicia and I'm back with my 28 week pregnancy update video. I've been looking forward to film this because I haven't done an update video in two weeks. I finally went to the doctor yesterday, so everything's fresh and I have lots of new information. I got lots of feedback on my 26 week update, so I hope you all enjoy this one. And I'm just gonna jump right in. So today is Thursday, January 19th. I am 28 weeks and five days today. So finally into my third trimester, I have a little less than 12 weeks to go. Very exciting, I'm almost there. I don't think I've said this yet, but I'm due April 8th. And if you don't already know, I'm having a girl. I don't have a name picked out yet, so I might do like a name reveal one day when I figure that out. Um, I haven't seen her since my 20 weeks, four days ultrasound. So I don't have an update on her weight and what she looks like, but I did show those ultrasound pictures in my 26 week update. I also have several different pregnancy apps that tell me like average weight and average height. So this week she is the size of a head of cauliflower, 16 inches and two and a half pounds. I've also seen size of a coconut and size of an eggplant. So. I have several apps that tell me different things. That's what I've seen this week. So like I said, yesterday I went to the doctor and in my last update, I told you all I was dreading my next appointment because I took my glucose tolerance test. So I guess I'll tell you all how that went and my experience with that. So I guess I'll start from the beginning. I checked in of course, and they had me drink the glucose drink right away because I have to wait an hour for that to get into my bloodstream. So they went ahead and took me in to drink that first and I got to choose between fruit punch and lemon lime. I chose lemon lime because I guess it kind of reminded me of Sprite. It was in a little, a small bottle, like one of those small water bottles, maybe a little bit bigger than that. Um, it was not carbonated, but a little bit bubbly. It was very sweet. It was thicker than a drink, but it wasn't as thick as I thought it would be. I thought it would be like a smoothie, but it wasn't. So um, that was pretty easy to swallow. I had to drink it in under five minutes. I think I drank it in about three to four. So no problems with that. I was so nervous that it was going to make me sick, but it was okay. So I'm glad I got that over with. And... Um, Hopefully I pass. They told me no news is good news. So hopefully I don't get a call. Um, so they had me drink that and then go back out into the waiting room because I had to wait an hour. So in between that hour, they went ahead and let my doctor see me. So they checked my blood pressure. My weight was 111 pounds, which is two pounds greater than I was in January, I thought it would be more, but I guess it's not an issue. So I did that, I did the urine sample, that whole routine, and then my doctor saw me and he measured my belly, measured the heartbeat, which was 145 to 150 beats per minute. So he said everything looked great and that went pretty quick. So I went back out into the waiting room. When the hour was up, I went back in with the nurse and she drew my blood for the glucose test and I guess that's how they get the results and I also got a Rogam shot I think that's what it's called hopefully I'm saying it right but that is for my blood type they injected that into my thigh and it kind of hurt but it wasn't that bad they had me like lay on my side and yeah that wasn't very fun but I had to do it so I got that over with. So that was like, I guess, the most dreadful appointment I've had so far. And I'm just glad it's over. So yeah, that's how my appointment went. Other than that, like they said, everything looks great and everything's perfect. So I'm really happy. So a lot has changed in the past few weeks. I told you all, I haven't been having cravings this pregnancy, but I'm starting to crave crushed ice. and. I don't really know why, maybe it's the texture. I don't really chew it, but I suck on it. And 
it's just like my new favorite thing. I've also been drinking a lot of fruit punch and I don't really know if it's a craving, but I've been drinking a lot of it and it's not the best thing for me, but yeah. Other than that, I haven't really had any cravings or things I've been eating more, but I have been eating a lot. I'm always hungry, of course I'm eating for two, and I told you guys I work around food, so that makes me even more hungry. I've also been sleeping a lot more. I've been very, very, very exhausted from obviously being pregnant and growing and working as well. It's kind of been making me feel depressed. Not really depressed, but just down, I guess, because I don't feel like I'm getting things done. I don't feel like I'm spending time with my family because I feel like I'm just working and sleeping when I get home from work. I go straight to bed and if I work a day shift, I take a long nap during the day. So I've kind of been feeling down, but everyone's telling me, get the sleep all you can and it's good for me. So yeah. Working has also been putting a lot of strain on my back and my feet and now it's moving towards my hips. So I've been feeling a little more pain, but nothing that I can't handle yet. I have been peeing more because now she lays on my bladder and kicks my bladder and I can definitely feel that. But her movements are becoming more frequent and becoming more strong and I'm kind of loving it. Sometimes it can get annoying but I love it. It's a great feeling. I used to just feel little pokes and now I'm feeling her like roll and I can feel body parts sticking out and she's kind of camera shy because whenever I try to record it she stops so hopefully I can get some more clips of her movement um I have been preparing for her still um I've had several people give me hand-me-down clothes from their babies or clothes they never touched so I have boxes and bags of clothes from friends and I'm still planning on having a couple baby showers. So I'll get lots of stuff then. So that's why I haven't really been going out and splurging on her. But I do try to buy things every once in a while because how can you go in the store and just look in the baby section? Everything's so cute and I just want to get stuff. So. I tried to buy small things and I got some pacifiers for her that I will show you guys. So first I got these, I think they're called Soothies and these are the kind that they give you at the hospital but they just give you like the plain green ones. These are bears and they're pink and purple so girly colors and they're really cute. I took them out of the packaging because I bought like this little cup for the pacifiers to go in. and. They wouldn't fit in here with the um, packaging on it, so I took it off, but I got this cup from the dollar store, or not the dollar store, but the dollar section of Target. I got several of them, so this is just one, and they're really nice, so that's why I'm going to keep all her pacifiers for now. So I believe these are zero to six month pacifiers, and I'm sure I'll get some from the hospital. And I also bought these pacifiers and these are also zero to six months they come in this little sanitary case the top one says i love mommy and the bottom one's just a heart and they're pink i love them so much they're really cute and i haven't taken these out of the packaging yet because they fit so this is her little pacifier collection so far i just like to show you guys stuff because i don't want to just sit here and talk to you um but I'm sure you all will see plenty of things from my baby shower and just everything that I have so far later on. So that is pretty much it for my update. Um, thumbs this video up. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me requests below. Give me feedback. And stay tuned for my belly shots. Thanks for watching. Bye.